Hey everyone, thank you for joining us in another video in our React Native series. And here, Charlie's gonna tell me about something called Link by Stripe, which I'm guessing is gonna make it a little bit easier for us to check out in our apps. Charlie, is that true? Like, like what is this Link thing? Exactly, so Link is a new payment method, just like ACH or credit cards or Apple Pay. Um, mm -hmm. But Link is actually offered by Stripe and basically is a way for uh, merchants on Stripe to kind of all share the same customer in a way. So uh, a, a customer will check out with Link one time or sign up for Link um, and basically save their payment method, their billing details, and their shipping details. And then Stripe has that. And uh, any merchant that is using Link uh, with Stripe gets access to that. So it just gives your customer a quick one-click checkout experience across multiple merchants. And you don't really need to store any data, cookies, payment info, anything. That sounds perfect because I know as a customer, I hate when I have to fill out those checkout forms. I gotta put in my phone number and my address and my zip and then there's validation and then it freaks out and then I gotta put it in again. And so now if like the technology would just do it for me, like I would love that. So I can just say, hey, buy the thing so I can like get on with the rest of my day. So that sounds mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So you got a demo that we could take a look at? So we can see I what do, yes, yes, definitely. Cool. So let's head over to your screen and, uh, and see how we could put this in our React Native application. All right. So here we have uh, a demo that we've seen before in a previous React Native video where we're kind of demoing the payment sheet. And so the payment sheet, really quick summary, is a Stripe UI optimized checkout experience that makes it really easy for you to let your customers check out. Um, so you can see it right here. For an example, it launches this bottom sheet and we get you know our credit card input forms, and then also Apple Pay. And if you have a whole bunch of payment types that you're accepting, um, this, this payment sheet will display all of those for your users to choose from. Um, and basically, it makes it really easy for you to kind of design a checkout experience without actually having to design a checkout experience. Um, and on top of that, we can really, really easily add new payment methods. So for example, let's say we want to add link as a payment method we would actually go over here to our server code where we're building a Stripe payment intent. Um, and so this payment intent is what we're gonna pipe over to the payment sheet to kind of get all of our, our backend data from Stripe. Um, and to enable link, all we have to do is add link to our payment method types right here. We're gonna save our server and reload it. Reload our screen, click buy. Awesome, so now we have link as a, as a payment method type, let's pretend we're the customer. We're going to say, oh, I wonder what link is. Interesting. Secure one-click checkout. I think I've seen this before. So let me input this email uh, I've tested with before, and I'm going to get a verification code sent to my phone so that I can log in with link super easily. And there we go. It already has my payment method that I've saved you know, before with link somewhere else, and I can check out super easily. Um, and this is actually one of the more longer checkout flows with link you'll see right now we've got our payment method success but in the background the stripe react native sdk now knows that this customer has checked out with link before and so if i click buy with the payment sheet again i'm going to get auto prompted with link to make it super easy and i can you know one click check out and it should succeed right about now perfect yeah and again this is stripe react native so if you test this on android it's essentially the exact same thing, uh, completely mirrored. The only difference would be instead of Apple Pay, you'd see Google Pay. Um, but other than that, it's uh, totally platform agnostic, which is really useful. Um, but yeah. Nice. That's, so what, that's I, what I really like. love about that is how, because I think about like as a person that wants to buy stuff and you know, I put something in my shopping cart and then now I got to fill out all the details, right? Like what's your credit card and your zip code and your shipping information and your phone number and so on and so forth, right? And, you know, it's particularly annoying on the web, but I can imagine it's even more annoying on mobile, right? Because you have such a smaller screen. And, you know, usually when you're on your phone, you're trying to just like do things super quick, right? Like I'm not trying to write an essay. I'm just trying to like check the thing out and move on. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I could do this and it helps me like check out faster just makes me even more comfortable, right? Because now I could just move on with the rest of my day. Yeah, I feel like on mobile, it's almost an expectation, from the user that you'll have a one-click checkout experience because it's mobile. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Now, the well, other question I had too was, so like you showed us how we could do it with email addresses, right? But so let's say I didn't want to give you my email address and I had like a phone number or something else. Does Link work with any of those other things? 
Yeah, Link does also work with a uh, phone number. Like you saw that SMS code come in um, before. Mm -hmm. So Link is hooked up to, to SMS as well. Nice. But one more thing um, <clears throat> that I do want to talk about with Link, as you can see here, if we you know, launch this by, we get auto prompted with our Link to pay. And so this is because of the cookies that Payment Sheet is storing in the background. Um, the one client side change that we do want to make in our app is to uh, reset these cookies when your user logs out of their app. So let's say I share my iPad with my family. I don't want all of them using you know, my checkout uh, or my link payment method um, it, when they're buying something. You know, that would, that would kind of suck. Yeah, so, that would be a problem for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So let's actually add a this um, uh, payment sheet, you know, cookie clearer uh, right here, super quickly. We're gonna go up here to our use payment sheet hook, uh, which is offered by Stripe React Native, and add this one import reset payment sheet customer, um, and then really quickly we can add a we can add a button to our app, and let's say we'll call this logout. Cool. So now you can see we have our button. And just to test this out, you can see, OK, Link is trying to auto prompt me to pay. But if I log out first and then click buy, you can see now Link has been logged out. And to use Link again, I would need to provide my email, do that SMS um, authentication. So again, very secure. Uh, the only thing to, to remember is that you will need to call that reset payment sheet customer if you expect your app to be used by you know, multiple users. Right. So then I have one more question I want to ask you then. So I saw like after I've you know saved my my payment information, like and link just auto automatically like selects a card for me. Like mm -hmm. what if I wanted to use a different card? Like I'm guessing I could back out of it and say, hey, we'll use this instead or use I don't know, my bank account or some other you know payment method if I wanted to. Yeah. So it's kind of a there's two answers to that question. If you want to use a different payment method but still link, you can change that in the link UI. Um, mm -hmm. So if you'd go through here and uh, we'll see test email.com, enter in our authentication code, which in Stripe test mode is always going to be all zeros. And we can always, you know, add a new payment method with link in here. Mm -hmm. Or let's say, actually, you know, I want to pay with ACH or some other payment method. Let's say pay another way. And hopefully, you know, the, uh, the merchant at that point has enabled ACH in payment sheet, which is sort of similar to link it's adding another payment method on your server side right. um, or you check out with apple pay or something like that cool well awesome man i mean this was really great um so thank you so much for showing that it seems like it's super easy to add link to an already existing app that i already have with react native and stripe so that was great um thank all of you for watching and if you're interested in learning more about link and our react native sdk make sure you check out the link in the descriptions below and also head over to our docs you can learn about all the knobs and whistles and things that you could tweak to you know craft the experience that you want.